so you're four years old when you... <laughs> 1950, I joined. That'd be 65 years ago, what, 66 years ago? Yeah. Whoa. You know, if you stay till six, you can go out on the racetrack. You can't people running on the racetrack. There's one of my favorite cars, yeah. for some reason. Layup really appealed to me. See, Hemmings Motor News is here. The last time I... The original car dragged out of a barn in, in uh, Maine. Oh yeah. Mm. And once I got. Where in Maine? I don't remember the town. Uh, my brother and sister live up in Maine. That was completely original. Nothing. It didn't touch. Nothing. Five, he's still going strong. Oh. Uh, so I have hope. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Ralph Buckley, who was the mercer, the brilliant mercer restorer. Ralph, matter of fact, I wrote the piece on on uh, Ralph Buckley that was a big cover story in Antique Automobile Magazine. So then this doesn't really have a gearbox, does it? No, you don't change gears? That's the interesting thing about steam and electric. Yeah. The highest torque is the lowest RPM. Yeah. No transmission. Right. We've got 450 pounds of steam under there. PSI. Oh, and my, my grandfather, my mom's dad, was an engineer, steam engineer on the Aurora West Chicago and Elgin, and later the uh, Chicago Northwestern. Uh -huh. Is that right? Steam engineer. He retired in the late 40s. Right. I mean, even after retirement, until he died, he uh, would take the Pioneer out on uh, exhibition runs. The Pioneer is an example of their very first okay. steam local. Hmm. Hmm. See if we can squeak through there. What year? 07? 10. 07? The steamer. Woo! We're getting her now. The whistle didn't work. Oh, no. oh. And I hardly used the car. Yeah. The fun is the whistle. 
All the racing fuel. But I mentioned to you, I may have that the racing fuel has ethanol in it. I, I was, ethanol is a high performance yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. But I was hoping to fill up the car on some real nice leaded fuel, but it's, it's, that's not it. Yeah, you have to go, that's usually there at an airport or a marina. Right, it's yeah. Marinas apparently have stopped it now. Oh, oh that's right. what I heard. Because I was going to start going to a marina. Uh, I have a buddy pilot at a local airport. I can pull the car right up at the pumps. And he'll stop. What state? West Virginia. Yeah. In New Jersey, they're not supposed to do that. Right. But if you know somebody, it's different. Yeah. Look at that gorgeous Monte Carlo. Wow. My, my. <laughs> the driver has been a member of AEC since 1950. Beautiful. I think, I'm pretty sure that's a date. Somewhere around there. Hit the whistle here. Definitely a fun car. It's a tinkerer's dream because there's always something that isn't quite right. Ah. <laughs> it's running perfectly today. That doesn't mean it will tomorrow. Now there's a nice Ford. Great show field. The, the brass cars, I, I see antique automobile. Very few. Horses carriage, that's different. Hmm. say, well, that's it, ladies and germs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that'll do. Wonderful. You guys are driving around. Can you do me a favor and just keep it to the left side of those ballards? We're about, I'm about ready to go home. All right, thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. You're welcome. What's a ballard? Like a, yeah, I guess that's... I guess that's a ballard. Hide ballard? Ballard? Yeah. yeah Behind the... Hide. Hide ballard must have been his father. No, no, no. Oh. He said, he called these things ballards. To say left of the ballards. Oh, I think oh, over here. oh, oh, oh. Hide. That was fabulous. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. I'll get that door for you. Okay.